We are following breaking news from New Haven where a busy road is closed for the ride home after a tractor trailer ended up in a lake. Drone 3 giving us a view over the scene on Ella Grasso Boulevard right now. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane is live with the mobile newsroom in the Elm City with the latest. Matt. Well, Aaron, right behind me, you can see why they had to close down El Grasso Boulevard here in New Haven. They had to bring in not one, not two, but three large tow trucks with cranes as they try to get this big rig out of the water. Now, here's what we can tell you. A battalion chief with the fire department tells me the tractor trailer was heading south on El Grasso Boulevard just before noon when a Jeep traveling north crossed over into his lane. The two collided head on with the tractor trailer, then smashing through a chain link fence and ending up in a pond at the Evergreen Cemetery. We're told both drivers were conscious and alert as they were transported to the emergency room at Yale New Haven Hospital to be evaluated. But more than five hours later, crews are still out here on scene because getting this big rig out of the water is not an easy task. They've had to close the boulevard from Legion Avenue to Columbus Boulevard and Orange Ave on the other side. That's so they could set up originally two, now a third wrecker so they could attach cables, set up their cranes as they slowly work to try to free this tractor trailer. Now it's not just police and fire out on scene. Earlier we had the Department of Energy and Environmental Protection as well because we're talking about uh, dealing with uh, a pond and also some fluid and fuel from that tractor trailer as well. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Okay.